in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. And there is 60 defense, 80 overall combat level, and 12.50 total level. I'm gonna get out of here. Because after a little shopping trip, I'm gonna attempt the Perilous Moons for the first time, the actual bosses. Make no mistake, this is not gonna be easy. Now, I took a look back at what my stats were when I did the same quest on one hour limit locked and there I was the exact same HP but I had 20 more prayer points which I don't think should be too significant and I had 10 less strength levels I was base 60s so I am technically at a higher strength level than I was then. On the other hand we've got a much lower herb law level we only have access to the super attack portion of the moonlight potion buff. The strength we make up for the strength in the fact that we got those extra levels anyway but the defense is going to be lacking in terms of that boost so that could be pretty bad because things hit pretty hard in there the other thing is my gear is way worse i can't just buy it all on the g like i could in one hour limit locked i'd like full dragon there basically and here i'm going to be looking at uh, rune items i don't even have a kite shield on me at the minute and i don't think i can really afford one both the things I'm buying now I could get as drops, like I could do a bunch of Soul Wars games to get both of these things as drops, I could go try and kill Revenants, uh, actually the first one that I'm about to buy I don't think you can get from Revenants, but you know, it's just easier to buy them, so these are going to be extortionate prices, going to take most of the rest of my cash stack, hopefully it's worth it. We want a rune plate body, thank you very much, 84k in the bin, actually I had a rune kite shield from like i got multiple of them at the wilderness agility course but i alks them i don't think i need it for anything <laughs> and a dragon longsword 100k now this is not great at all it's worse than our sulfur blades but against the eclipse moon in particular having a two hit weapon is going to be very bad because it takes less damage from every splat. So I just need some sort of stab weapon that I can use that doesn't have a double hit. And then I'm just going to try the blades on both of the other two because I don't have access to any decent crush weapons. So it's just going to have to get run down. I'm hoping that I can make up for the lack of crush by the fact that these are double hitting because unlike the eclipse moon, the frost moon, the blue moon, takes extra damage from every hit, kind of like the Sulfur Nagua, so I'm hoping they'll just carry me through that. The Blood Moon is usually a scary one, we'll just have to see how that goes. <laughs> we do get our glory though. This is what it's looking like. This is not going to go well at all, but at least we'll know how badly it doesn't go well. That's the thing. I'll be able to get an idea of how far away I am. I might get a couple of them down. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get them all though. I think I'll start with the blue moon because I think that one will be the easiest of the three. But I could be wrong about that. Okay, I definitely don't need four moonlight potions, but it is what it is. All right, we'll get kick off with specs. Gonna have to use offensive prayers here rather than currently in a normal phase. I'm going in. Yes, I get it. Don't ask me again. Okay, it's no longer in a normal phase. Wonderful. My gosh, that prayer drained quick. Oh, I gotta keep an eye on that. Let's go. Big hits like these, please. Thank you very much. Okay, a few misses there, but maybe I was right to bring four whole pots. I also need a load detail turned on. Yeah, that's better. Now I can actually see the arena. Thank you. More hits, please. Thank you. Keep them coming. Oh, my defense. 
defense is definitely low. Blood Moon is going to be impossible. Because I don't have the super defense buff, but I'm so far away with it from it that like, it's not going to happen anytime soon. I'm trying to think if I might have a potential solution. I'll, I'll have to look it up after. Yeah, we are struggling a bit here. Even this one that I thought was going to be the easiest is tough. Uh, it just hit me constantly. I might not get this kill. Come on, I need some big hits. Switch to accurate. Got another spec. Oh no! Just, jeez, that was close though. Holy. Okay, I need to look something up. I've got a plan. This is where the super secret tech comes in, y'all. The super secret tech. Possibly the first ever person to actually use it. Right, first things first. I just want to know how these work. So if I swap the left click to release on these, can I like do multiple in a tick? That's what I want to know. There's a black one in here, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm just going to try and click all these and see if it happens. There was no delay there at all. That's kind of interesting. So like, theoretically, if you had a bunch of the healing ones, you could use them all in the same tick. That's, um, that's the closest to a Karamb one I'll get. That's a Snowy Knight, 15 hit points. That is the closest to a Karamb one I'll ever get on this account, other than a Blighted Karamb one. Right, interesting. Okay, so... These are the two that I actually want. I'm gonna tag them so I can see a bit more clear that they're... In fact, I'll tag them with the colour that the relevant super buff is. Okay, that should give me enough to work with. Man, if only there was one of these for run energy, I would go fucking nuts for that. I'm trying to figure out which one to go for next. I'll try the blood. Because it's the one that we actually have a slash weapon for that's not too bad, but it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. I know it's gonna be rough already. <laughs> Just got a hunter level from making potions there. That's crazy. Oh no, I need to be better. Oh no. Okay, I'm definitely noticing the difference from the defense of the butterfly. Like, I'm not getting hit anywhere near as much. It's making it so much easier. Oops. I want them my butterfly jar. I just realized in the middle of this how important those butterflies are. Got another spec up. We'll go for it. Well, it might take us a couple more rotations, but I think we probably will get this. As long as it doesn't go so long that we lose all of our defense bonus. Got spec. Oh, that was a nasty heal. Oh, that's another nasty heal. Oh, that's another big one. Oh no, he keeps triple hitting me now. The defense is lacking. Do I need to bring two defense butterflies in? Like he just went up in that last phase, not down. The defense is going lower and lower. Actually, might have a double super defense dose in my bank, so I'll check that if this goes bad. Every time he's just clapping me now. No, nope, that's that. Okay. Well, I will have a go at the Eclipse one and see how bad that is. And it might be worth trying that one again with the Rune Square and a D Long. Probably worse DPS, but it might stop me from getting hit quite as badly. Whatever the case, this is definitely not in a position where we can farm it, but I'm just hoping I can get it to a position where we can at least complete the quest and go from there. I bought a bunch of Lorins earlier as well, by the way. In Canterum. I spent a few hundred K. Ooh, there is another way I can get to Canterum. I was just thinking how annoying it is making this run all the time and not having the landing pad down there. But we can't get a landing pad because of Hunter's Room of Bullshit. 
but it is another way I can get here. And it's also something I've been meaning to mention because it's an AFK mining method. If you didn't know, in the corner of Cam to Rum, like in this corner of it, there might be other spots as well, I don't know, I just know this one. There's a bunch of, like, liquid that trickles out of a wall, kind of like the Tears of Guffix. You can AFK mine it, basically, and if you're mining in the spot that's glowing, you get more stuff, but you can just AFK it. Uh, and that gives you calcified moths, which can be used to teleport here. So those are going to be handy to get hold of. And it's going to be a way for me to get my mining levels up. So I'm definitely going to make sure I do that whenever I stop this recording session. And I want something AFK to do. I'm not sure how Eclipse will go, honestly. It might be okay, but we just won't know until we get in there. The real question is, can I finish this quest before KFC opens in 30 minutes? Because I'm starving. So I'm definitely ordering as soon as it opens. Wait, am I doing KFC? I'm getting done with me. Y'all don't give a fuck about that, or maybe you do if you're a bit weird. Don't know why you would. I don't think these fish are going to be quite as effective, but I haven't done the calculations on it, so... I love that you never burn those. Same strategy as always, straight in with a spec. Oh, we got a cutscene. Shit, I should have waited to drink those. Forgot about the cutscene. We'll lose that defense level right away. Oh, now we're here. Am I missing these? I missed way too many of them. Let's get some specs in. Actually, I'm gonna spec with this because it's not a double hit, which means less chance of that going wrong. They're not very accurate though. It must be a slash spec, which makes sense. It's a slash weapon. Okay, this one's looking like it's pretty doable, at least so far, but we are getting hit quite a bit. So we may like run out of food. What's died then? Much better phase then. I am very low though. I need him to not keep hitting me. Okay, just about enough to get that one done. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the strength butterfly and I'm gonna take my two doses of super defense in case it's close but we're getting towards the end and it keeps hitting me because it'd be really nice to just be able to top up in those situations. Oh, I just realized that the Blood Moon does also have like extra damage per hit splat, so Sulfur Blades are advantageous there. You get an extra two damage per hit splat. Blue Moon's an extra five, Eclipse is minus six. So I'm actually just going to use two specs to start off this time and then save them for when it gets low because it can regen so much anyway. I think you might just lose the damage from those initial specs over the course of the fight if you use them all up too early. So yeah, I'm gonna use a couple and let it regen. When she gets low, I'll sink the rest. Wait for this to disappear to signal the end of the phase and then... Ow. Not a very friendly way to start, but... Okay, we're hitting good. That was a nasty hit. Tough to tell from that first round how how well we're doing. Ooh, nasty heal. Oh, and there's another big one. Okay, I want some momentum. Let's get some big specs in. Not as you get healing. Oh, come on, a double heal on me? I said I want a momentum. Triple heal? So my momentum was 30 damage that phase and I ate a ton of food. Nice. Probably shouldn't have ate there. Oh, come on, bro. Refresh the defense pot. This is fucked. Not from him. Move too early. Oh, I've just fucked this so bad. I think this is doable, but I've just royally but fucked this attempt. And my super defense pots with it. No, oh, stop healing. Okay. Oh no. Come on. Beautiful. No. No. Oh, so close. I'm probably gonna die to be honest. It's over. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna get some more maybe defense levels. It should probably be defense. I'd rather do attack first. Maybe I'll do them both up to 65. It'll probably take me the rest of the day, to be honest, which is a bit uninteresting, but I want to get this done. Valamore Part 2 is coming out soon. 
and we haven't sort of ticked off everything from part one yet on this account. I mean, obviously we're not in the Colosseum, we're nowhere near it, but... Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Thralls would help as well, but I don't even know what level you get them. I know there's different tiers of them. Greater Thrall at 76. Superior Thrall. Greater one's only here for three. Are these two? Yes, yeah, so the max it's only two for the superior for all, but that's not too bad. It's still extra DPS, in it? It's not going to be enough to do the fight, though, and we still are herb law levels away from it. So the easiest thing is just to be, go get some more combat levels. So yeah, I'm going to go do that for the rest of the day. I might actually just start off by doing a little mining, see if I can get some of those calcified moths. Because if I can, that'd be super nice just for getting back to the city quickly if I'm going to be visiting a lot, which I obviously am. I'll show you all where the spot is before I wrap up this filming and order that kebab that I was talking about. But yeah, it was relatively close. Like, we're definitely not in farm territory yet, like I say. Nowhere near being able to farm it. We can't even complete one. But it was close to completion. So, I don't feel like we need too much more to get there. Maybe, like, an extra five levels may well be enough. More the boosts that are annoying. Like, the fact that we can't just use Moonlight Potions. I just can't get herbs in that much mass right now. Even growing them is slow as hell, so... So you'll see there's lots of these calcifying rocks. We just want the ones that are glowing for the extra bonuses. And I was not expecting to see so many people here. Are these all bots? Two guys with the same name there. Definitely not sketchy. I just ran out immediately. There isn't always a glowing one. And yeah, you might mainly just get these, but you do get the calcifying moths as well, which are the consumable teleports to here. I don't think there's like anything else here that I'm aware of. 1 in 75 for a calcified deposit, which you crush with a hammer on an anvil and get either bone shards or a calcified moth. It's only 1 in 4 of the calcified rocks that you get a moth from, basically. 1 in 300 for a moth, but you can see it's pretty regular ticks here. Yeah, I'm gonna chill here for a bit, see if I can get a couple moths, and then AFK the stats up some more. Okay, folks, it's time to give this another crack. It is the next day. I've got 65 attack and defense. Fingers crossed we can get it done this time. I've decided to go for the Sulphur Blades, at least on this attempt. If it doesn't work, then I'll try the Dragon Long again. But I figure with the flat extra 2 damage per hit splat, it is technically. And the fact that it's better DPS anyway, there's more strength bonus on the Blades than the Longsword. It's just better DPS. You know, a DPS cow kit, but I don't think I actually need to. It's just whether the defensive bonuses are enough without the shield on, because it is quite a bit extra. I'm hoping we'll be able to get it done this time. We very almost got it done last time, and to be honest, I made quite a few mistakes, so... There's definitely room for improvement on my behalf. Not that I haven't done this, like, literally hundreds of times at this stage, but apparently I'm still bad at it. It doesn't look like there's a spec going on, so in we go. Oh, just about to beat one by the looks of things. I need to get used to having my hands around my F keys again, rather than my fucking hop buttons. I've been in the wilderness for that long, that I just default for hops now. Oh, what the fuck is this, man? I'm getting clapped. What the hell? Oh, no, this isn't looking good at all. What the fuck is going on? I don't understand how I took so much damage that first. Hello? And maybe the uh, the extra defensive bonus of the shield really does make that much of a difference. Okay, I'm gonna get the specs in. Oh, come on, man. Just keeps hitting. I had him kind of low, and then, yeah, he just keeps hitting me and healing now. It's not looking great. I just keep getting flustered by how much it heals as well. That makes me play worse. Yeah, how about we get out of here? I think I left that about as late as I possibly fucking could before dipping. Alright, we'll try the long sword and the shield combo. Hopefully it's better. There's a part of me that's like, hey, just put a runeful helm on, and I'm, I'm going to keep ignoring it. <laughs> I don't have one in the bank for starters, that's enough of an excuse to keep ignoring it. That was very rough. Can't get a boot upgrade, can't get a cape upgrade, can't 
at rest upgrade. Absolute miles away, unless there's a drop table that has it. Elite caskets, that's it. Okay, so yeah, when basically there's no upgrades we can get. Gear-wise, we could get dragon plate legs, and it's something that if this doesn't work, I'll consider going to try and do. At least while I do some melee training, I may as well do it on Revenants for a little bit and see if I can and just score one of those drops because it could be a big a big buff. But fingers crossed this shield's enough to just push us over the edge. What am I looking for? Ah, a moth. That's what I'm looking for. I got five of them or six. I can't remember what I just saw when I looked. And look at that right into the city. Isn't it beautiful? I spent like maybe an hour, hour and a half mining basically while i was eating yesterday and for a bit after and i ended up with like 16 calcified rocks which turned into five or six moths that's the first time i've actually ever used one so i didn't know exactly where it was going to bring me but it seemed to be right in the middle basically might be a little different each time all right i think this might be our fourth attempt i mean i am doing it staggeringly early and with shite gear it's taking a bit to crack this one and we still might even not had to tell how much difference the five extra levels made i didn't particularly feel it in the last one but maybe that was because i went with the blades it looks like it's not in a phase so i know you good start okay it's the first time we've been hit and it was only one hit not a triple okay well i asked for that didn't i so far, it's seeming a lot, lot better with the shield. I could even try and get myself a rune kite if I thought that was going to push me over the edge. Or at least make sure to save one whenever I next get one, even if it's not an immediate priority. It's just looking very good at the minute. That's good. That's good. And when that buff starts to wear down, it really does get bad, doesn't it? It's just slapping me now. I'm getting zero DPS because I'm just taking so much damage. Oh, it's gonna be close. Fuck. Yes! Oh, just about. Oh, thank fuck. Let's go. We're, we're nowhere near farming territory, but I'm happy we, we got it done. No, we don't go to the chest just yet. We do get a chest, but not just yet. I was thinking I was going to have to come back and bring an extra defense butterfly just for like halfway through the fight. I definitely think it would be prudent for me to try and hunt down some gear upgrades before attempting this again. It's going to be a nice slayer boost. We're on 48 at the minute. Rune crafting hunter and fishing 2, 39, 44 and 58. Yeah, the hunter's not going to change, but fishing should get a level. Rune crafting will get a level or two. Let's go. We went up four entire Slayer levels. We got a Rune crafting level and a fishing level. Access to the Napoleon Slayer dungeon. We can run the Moons of Peril as many times as we want now. And we can go through to the reward room. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Here we go. Before we get excited, because I was excited and now it's processed for me. I need to process it to you guys. I can't wear this until I have the full set, because Fedora Lock, even if I did have the Magic 75 Fedora Lock, I said I'd allow myself for set bonuses. Ah, maybe I'm just going to have to give up on the Fedora. I don't know. Let me think what your thoughts on the fedora are. Let me know what you think. What you f I'm not even speaking as a... I can't believe we just got an item mask. Kind of just sort of some water orbs, to be honest. But, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> the blue moon helm. That is absolutely insane. Well, I'm getting out of here. I'm gobsmacked, honestly. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Right, so I'm probably not going to be recording for too much longer, because... 
I was AFK in the stats up for quite a while after I woke up and I'm getting hungry. But I do just want to go and make a little trip to the Rev Caves. It's a while since I've been there. We're quite a higher level now since last there. So I want to see if I can't get myself a couple of cool items, you know, maybe something like a dragon plate legs or a rune kite shield would be nice. Just checking, I don't have a bracelet of ethereum, do I? No. I've got eater, but no bracelet. I think I have a cowl, because I'm going to be sculling up, so I don't want to take the, what do we call it anyway? You'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so we've still got our rev cave fee from last time so i think this skull lasts 20 minutes you know for at least a decent sized trip i don't think our dps has gone up a great deal though, so we'll just have to see how we fare i'm kind of hoping that we can deal with hobgoblins pretty effectively but honestly i'm not sure if we will be able to we are still using a bcb after all totally forgot about clues i had banked as well that i was meaning to do while i was on camera I've got hard clue and a medium clue, both with completable steps. Pretty sure I did get a bracelet, I must have alked it. Are you trying to tap me? No. He just ran away because I turned up. Okay, I'll take his spot. Yeah, I don't know if our DPS is really high enough with range to take these guys. Maybe I should try with the sulfur blades. I did make sure I, that I, I kept a spare set so that I could take them into the wilderness if I wanted to. I was more thinking that I'd want it to be in ranged gear if a PK file maker. More chance of escaping the binds. But I could just still wear dehyde and use sulfur blades. So I can bring pots then to... Yeah, I think I'm just going to dip on this. Okay. Wasn't terrible. Wasn't great either, but it wasn't terrible. Maybe I should just wear a strength on me rather than a power. Taking a lot of damage, that's the thing. Bracelet of Ethereum would help a lot. Maybe I'll just use the fedora as my, like, like I won't use the graceful hood now, but there's a new graceful hood coming that's Valamore themed. I want to wear that one. I think I'm just going to have to let the fedora become a relic at some point. Like, it's it's beautiful and everything, but there's just so many useful options in the head slot that we could use. That are still different to things that you'd normally see accounts use, because usually people just wear a Nezzy helm for, like, 75% of the game. Oh, we got a bracelet! That's nice. That is very nice indeed. Indeed, that does, although it went in the bag, so I can't equip it. And I also just realised there's 11 of these here. Maybe I just bag them and then I might bank again, to be honest. Make some dueling rings, reset my skull, and then come back with the bracelet. These kills are a lot more doable, though, with melee than ranged. I'm going to make this last kill, so we'll just leave that on anyway. Damn, it might be worth leaving it on. I think we've got quite a lot of lighted supers. Hold on. Hold on, let me do another kill with that on. Okay, I might actually be dumb to not be using prayer here. It's a shame I can't get initiate. That'd be really good. Well, I'm less worried about defense now, so I don't care if I just want to wear robes. That's fine. Bunch of these emeralds from all the sulfonic goo farming I've been doing. Honestly, the resources from the sulfonic goo are fantastic. Got 11,000 chaos. Almost 2,000 death runes, almost 500 nature runes. A shit ton of smithing supplies, which we need. Because smithing takes a lot of materials. Like, it's still only gonna just about get me up to myth level, I think. Yeah, look at that. Steel products up to level 60 we've got now. But it's a lot to go through, so I'll have to process all that at some point. Yeah, I've had six sets of sulfur blades at this point. Oh, I might do the clues as well, actually. Although I think one of them might have been wilderness. Let me double check. Arcus Library, Horfus. Okay, so we just need a couple teleports. So we'll start in Lumbridge. This is the hard clue. I don't know which one's more likely to be unsuccessful, like per step. Probably the medium, to be honest, but I'm not sure. Lumbridge Windmill? Okay, well, we're already in the area. Oh, could you imagine if we got an MSB? That'd be crazy. I would not be comfortable risking that in the wilderness though and it'd like never go above the skull value above like the you know it wouldn't be in your top three i guess maybe if you infused it it would i'm not sure i'd have to check it'd be worth checking maybe you could infuse and over it we can do that as well the dark mage in the center of the abyss okay i'm gonna go do this one first though okay so i still haven't made my dueling rings so i don't actually have a great way to get there at the minute 
the abyss. Got halfway through and then got distracted by clues. What we got? Cast away. Yeah, that's dead. Okay, the hard one though. We might be able to do that. I need a furnace. Okay, there's 10 fresh jeweling rings. Should be enough to keep us going for the near future. Don't see any bouts of rune crafting coming up, so that was what drew in a lot of them. Okay, so this is three steps on the dark mage, I'm pretty sure. Hard clues are four to six. Please. Doable step, it's a wilderness step. I guess I'll make cosmic runes. Yeah, we don't have any burning amulets. I think that's an item I'll never get, unfortunately. I don't think there's any way for me to get red topaz. Oh, that is interesting. I can do big net fishing at the pond in Fortis, but it's a one in 500. I wonder how fucking terrible that is. Any gem rocks? Oh, doggish can chests. 78th even, almost there. Okay, so when I get 78th even, I can actually make a burning amulet. That's good to know. This is just in a crit, so we don't need anything except the clue. The fact that I'm scold right now isn't ideal. This could theoretically be the completion. I'll settle for another completable step. Okay, let's get out of here first. That's doable. This is step five. It's either a casket or one step away from a casket. I was not expecting to actually get a hard clue done. This has been a very kind one. Man, Blue Moon Heart, Bracelet of Ethereum. Now we're potentially going to complete a hard clue. There's still a chance. Oh, I forgot fucking Slash Weapon. There's still a chance this goes wrong. Like, we could we could get a sixth step that's not completable. So I don't want to act like it's a sure thing at this stage. But it's further than I thought we'd get on a hard clue, put it that way. Even if it does peter out, I'll be disappointed. But I'm impressed that we managed to get so far on one. Oh, there's so many good things we could get inside a hard clue. I don't even know where to begin. I don't want to start listing stuff, because then I feel like I'll get a sixth step that I can't do. I'll just jinx it the more I'm talking about it, but this is such a long walk. <laughs> it's torture. Oh, it's another clue. Please, not like this. Bollocks! Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. So close. We did we could have had a casket twice. That is a shame. That is definitely a shame. Okay, I cut my losses and I head back to the rev cave with my bracelet. Okay, refresh the skull. Now we're about as prepared as we can be for this with the bracelet of Ethereum. I got some monk rubs as well, so I can just leave my prayer on. With that in mind, actually, I should bring some extra restores. Oh, this is super chill now that we're not taking damage. I mean, it's still healing up an annoying amount, but I think it's still worth leaving my prayer on for the kills. Oh shit, there's a superior. I ain't got a shot. Not with melee. With that arranged weapon, I can't really participate and it's not really worth anyway. Should be on my toes though. Well, we've had fuck all so far, but the kill rate's been decent. 53 coal isn't terrible. Not dragon plate legs though. Been getting absolutely nothing from these guys. Legitimately nothing. Eventually. Yeah, that's gonna have to be on that trip. Honestly, very, very disappointing trip. We we had an alright kill rate, but I think we lost ether in the bracelet. We lost 80 ether from what we put in. So we weren't really killing them fast enough to break even on the ether front even, which isn't ideal. Although it wasn't too bad, but yeah, look at that. Absolute garbage. Lauren's the best thing, but looking terrible for 20 minutes in the rev caves. Anyway, my skull's gone now and I am getting very hungry. So I'm going to take a break and go and get some food and figure out exactly what I want to do next on the account now that Perilous Moons is done. And there is the last moss giant killed. Finally finished off that task that we'd got from Vanaka for the Varok Diary. So yeah, as I'm guessing y'all have guessed, I'm gonna go do the medium Corrin Diary. There's not much left to do on it. We've actually done most of them already just passively while we've been exploring Corrin. So four tasks and we get 7.5k Herblor XP. Which brings us up to Avon to all level one. We'd also get the Rada's Blessing 2, which gives us plus one prayer bonus in the ammo slot. Very nice upgrade to have. Because it's reclaimable as well, it's safe to take it into the wilderness. So 
I'm gonna see what Crystallia has to offer. Lesser demons again. Okay, just wanted to know what that was. Not gonna do it right away, but I do have something that I do want to try in the Wilderness Slayer Cave. So, get to that. Okay, I think that's everything we need. So we want to go to Walk Island. I guess we'll just go to Shazy. And there's the very last one. Wicked. We got the plus one prayer bonus. I'm just going to get a few of these. And I'll have a prayer level, thank you very much. Sorry, herb law level even. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, on to the next order of business. Which more than likely isn't going to go very well. But it'll be entertaining. I am heading to the Wilderness Slayer Cave, but not to do my Slayer task. No, no, no. I am heading there to throw these bad boys at jellies. Let's see if... It goes terribly. Actually, let's look at the world I'm in before teleporting out there. Maybe swap to one. Now, there are two item drops here that are up for grabs that we want. One of them, we can only get from jellies. The other one, we can get from multiple other places. But it's a decent drop rate from the jellies too. I'm now just realising I don't even know where the jellies are. And yeah, I've never chinned jellies before. I've only ever... Used Ancients. It's actually not far from the 20 line. That's not terrible. Oh, they're not going to aggro me though. I didn't bring anything like darts to... Wait, is this a Slayer only? Oh no. I did not realise that. Oh, I can't kill jellies then, can I? I can't kill jellies unless I'm on task. All right, well, one thing I was hoping for that we could get elsewhere is Rune Kite Shield. The other thing I was hoping for is Myth Boots. Now I'm at a point where I don't really have a plan again. I might just go back to Revs, to be honest. It wasn't that bad. Oh, but I'm not Skulled. I have to go and Skull myself first. Right, hopefully this trip's better than the last one. So it was not very good. I'm gonna change my left click to Skull. You know, the last one was terrible, but only in terms of loot, not in terms of what actually happened, we were fine there. Ooh, a bracelet. That's not a bad start. Future bracelets are just money slash insurance in case we lose one. I'll probably keep one spare as insurance and then out after that. Ooh, hello. Ooh, you're on me. Okay. Oh no, that was a bind. Now I'm in trouble. See you later, Dad. He did teleport me though. Got a log, never mind. All good. Oh, I'm poisoned, I need to bank. Okay, this is what I'm going with this time. I wanted something to attack at a range, because I could pro probably have at least like tried to take that fight for a little longer before bailing. If I had some way to attack him at a distance, but I didn't. So I just thought runes maybe a little better than than ranged. Wonder if there's people in here I can kill. Like maybe we'll put pyre fiends or something. Should have brought ranged if I was gonna try that though. I just kinda like the idea of wailing on people with these sulfur blades, because I feel like not enough people know how like what level they're at. Not enough people understand them, so it makes them panic just because they don't know what it is. Like, why is he using this? Because I don't have a Dragon Sim and a Dragon Defender. But I feel like it makes people panic because they're like, oh shit, maybe this is super good. Ooh, this is superior. Can I catch anybody lacking there? That's tempting. Maybe someone just like goes in for a hit on it and that's their mistake. I'm not trying to fight, bro. I'll fight me anyway, so it's all good. I don't think I've had a hit yet, though. Oh, no. Okay, then. I'm dead here. There's just no way. I need to catch this right now and then him not to. Nah. Yeah, did my best. That guy was like a fully kitted out PK, to be fair. I don't think I lost anything major, so... I wish you could get like a recap of your death. Like, what you lost from it. It was bound to happen eventually. We had quite a decent amount of time in the cave out of that fee. Not that we got a great deal out of it, but we paid that fee ages ago, so... I'm not mad. 
Honestly, the only thing that I really, really want to do is have another crack at Perilous Moons. Let's see if we can get another KC. Who knows? Maybe we can. I think that would be incredible if we could actually start getting some KC. Because there's herbs, there's water orbs, just everything I want is at Perilous Moons. So, let's just give it another go. It might take us, like, multiple trips into the dungeon. Who knows? Who gives a fuck? I never actually ate earlier. I just had snacks and a lot of weed and then started recording again. So I am going to eat again at some point. So I just kind of want to see if I can get one done before I eat. And I will be actually eating this time because now takeaways are open. They weren't earlier. <laughs> I guess I'll start on Eclipse. I think that was the one that was actually the easiest. Blue might be a little slow. Because we're not bringing the double hitting weapon. But I feel the extra defense might make it less slow because of the it freezing your attacks and all that nonsense so we want to be on stab for this i think we got this one done first time if i remember right Okay, well, there were no real panic points in this fight, just took a while. The only thing that's making this not really farmable at the minute is the fact that we can't just use the moonlight potions on their own. Like, having to get the butterflies as well. I got a few, but I'm almost out of them now, so I'd have to go and basically farm a bunch of them. It's kind of annoying. And also, I have to leave now to get the butterflies, because I don't... I mean, I could I could try Blue Moon without, but it's going to be rough because, like, we're on just a slash weapon, no double hit. So, I'll give it a whack. Definitely going to need the extra defense for blood. Oh, fingers crossed. A decent crush weapon. Like nothing that's obtainable or way miles away from things like a dragon war hammer, you know. Some Rackness cudgel even would be difficult to obtain, because I don't know if we could grind it, uh, we'd probably get clapped by the minions. Okay. Well, that's doable with just Moonlight Potions. We are going to have to go get the moths for this next one. Butterflies even, whatever they're called. Right, I'm going to bring two defences, seeing as though I just had two left anyway. May as well, fuck it. There's a 49 cooking. Oh, lovely start. Alright, well, KC number two is eluding us for now. I think I just need to AFK the stats up some more, to be honest. I just can't see any other way to crack through the herb law grind, really, other than getting herbs from here. So, and we need, <laughs> we need herb laws so that we can do perilous moods more efficiently. It's kind of a weird cycle I'm in at the minute, but I'll figure some out. I'll probably AFK some more stats up, maybe get up to base 70s, and then see how I feel from there. 
Hello again, folks. It is a few hours since the last recording. I haven't actually done that much combat training. I got like one level and then decided to get some more calcified moths from the mining thing, so I've been doing that for the past couple hours. And the, one of the reasons I haven't done much combat, it didn't feel great because I didn't have the Zami Monk bombs. I lost them in the wilderness. And I thought, I don't really want to go and farm another fucking set from the guy in Varrock Palace. And I, I've been trying to think, and I, and I just need to get on, like, solving my prayer setup. Because using Zami Monk Robes as my best prayer setup is not good anyway. But we can't obtain regular Monk's Robes without the Edgeville Monastery or Hallowed Sepulchre. So those are the only two ways you can get them. Outside of potentially a PK or trimmed versions in clue caskets. On top of that, there's also all of the holy vestments available in clue caskets, and they can be given from the easy. So, I've looked up how clue juggling works. I've never attempted clue juggling before, but we're going to attempt it here today, and I'm going to try my best to explain it as I go. So you'll see I've marked these two tiles here, a good one and a bad one. I'm going to also just change my ham guards to walk so I don't accidentally attack them because I'd rather just be spamming those pickpocket buttons, you know. Uh, yeah, and I already got a clue on my second pickpocket, but it's a bad one. It's an arty step. So the idea here is that if we can collect multiple clues on the floor with completable steps, then we should be able to do a clue with the multiple different completable steps. In this example, to get an easy clue done, the maximum amount of steps it can be is four. So to be completely safe, I need to get four clues with the first step completable and drop them all here. At that point, I can start to go through and complete all those steps. And theoretically, it's meant to progress the counter on every clue that you have in the world at that point. However, if you get a new clue, it resets them all to zero. So you have to get as many as you can and then do them all. So I'm basically going to do it until I get four, because that's a guaranteed easy casket. And for those who are aware, clue scrolls last up to an hour. Well, not up to, they last one hour on the ground now. So it is much easier to juggle them than it used to be. There's one. Alcarid Mine, that's another bad one, unfortunately. Well, it's been pretty rough going so far. Not much luck. Oh. It's actually a good step. It's a bit of well, it's a bit of a weird step, but it's a step we can do. Finally. Taking a while for these to come through. I mean it's just RNG, they're one in fifty pickpockets, so it's not that bad, but it's been slower than it should have been. Twenty five percent of the way there. Uh we can do that too. That's the second one. Not long after the first. Halfway there. Birthorp is a bad step, unfortunately. Coming through a bit more now. Yeah, that's three. That's three. I mean, we could complete it with two, technically, but I, I don't want to risk it. I just want to guarantee it. Barbarian Village, yeah? We got four steps. Okay, fantastic. So, took about 20 minutes to get those four steps. So, fingers crossed, what should happen now is, I complete a step here, check it, it says there's one step done. And if I pick up any of the other clues, drop in this one, if the next step on this one's not completable, for example, they should all have one step completed on them as well. So I should just be able to do all four of the individual steps. I mean, we might even get more, because we might get early completions earlier than four steps. It can be two to four. And we may get multiple steps in a row that we can complete from the same seed clue. Okay, so check this. Got one on it. Do this the top floor of Draenor Manor, we can do it, and we're not far away, but we're low energy, I don't care. So of course, if there is one with a concurrent step, there's no reason not to do it. It will just mean that the count is on two for the next one that we pick up, if this one peters out. Oh, we got our first casket. Nice, that was off a single clue. Okay, I'm going to go to the last man standing real quick for a reset, and I'm going to open this while I'm there. And then I think I'm just going to make sure I have a fourth step, because then we can just go straight into another one, rather than trying to chase the three that have, and it, having it maybe peter out. If we ever have spare steps left over that are good still, we can just top up to four. All right, what we get? Nothing. It's going to happen a fair bit, I think. Okay, I'm just going to reset the timer on all these. Okay, one more step, please. Mm, no, that's a bad one. That's a good one, though. We'll take it. Okay, so we'll just run to that. Well, we don't have a spade, but we can get one in Drinaville. 
I don't think that's... Tav Tavoli, yeah, 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 we can't do Tavoli. Okay, so this is a bad step, actually making use of the juggled clues for the first time. We've got one step completed here on this clue scroll. One step, I'm gonna drop it with the bad ones, pick up one of the good steps. Still one step completed, perfect. Exactly what we want. All right, we've figured out how juggling works, y'all. At least I have, I hope it makes sense to you guys. It's actually not that complicated. Another clue. No, we can't do that one. I'll just drop it here. Two steps completed. Wizard's tower with some garbage. Decided I'm gonna build a stash unit for this step, seeing as though it's a odd collection of things and I may be farming these clues. Just gonna grab all six planks while I'm here this time, because I only got three last time and now I wish I hadn't and I'd got more. Unit built. Clue step acquired. Not a doable step. I am stashed. So we've actually made use of all four of the stored steps on this one. This should be the guaranteed completion with the last good one that we had here. And there's the casket. Let's see if this one's any nicer. A black pickaxe is a collection log slot. I guess I'll make use of it because... It's the lightest pickaxe, so it's the best thing to take on abyss runs for runecrafting. Because the level of your pickaxe doesn't matter for that. It just needs to be a pickaxe and yeah, this weighs like nothing. Put it in my runecraft tab, it's not what I was looking for obviously. Uh, yeah, so I I'm, I'm may do some more of these. It seems like a fairly reasonable method for getting easy clues done. I don't know what the chances of actually getting an item that we care about is but i feel like if we do it enough we'll get one eventually and it's not an awful process but it's also not a super exciting process so i guess i will just come back once i have some chests probably tomorrow hello there everyone it's a brand new day and woody's not gonna see too much play today actually because in a couple of hours valamore part two's coming out I'm planning to live stream it on my main account, so Woody's not going to get played much today, but I've got three more easy clues here, hoping for some sort of prayer bonus inside them. Let's just see what we can get. That's a rainbow. I almost got excited for a second, but yeah, that's uh, a dead cosmetic. A willow short bow. Oh, oh, ancient robe legs. That's good. That's good. One out of three, baby. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's exactly what I wanted. Holy shit. That's so good. I think that's better than the monk robe bottom as well. No, sorry. It's exactly the same as monk's robes, except it has a magic accuracy bonus. The prayer bonus is exactly the same, but that's fine because, like I say, I can't get monk robes. <laughs> so, that's a win. That is half of my monk robes done. That's... Whew. I'm glad we got that. Okay, I can go AFK now then. Because I uh, I didn't have the bottom half, I just had the top left over. Which is less bonus than the legs, but... Oh, I'm happy about that. Super pumped. Yeah, I'm just going to go AFK pretty much for as long as Woody's on today. I don't know if I'll be playing while I'm streaming or I can't figure out how hard it'll be to stream the new content and play on this camera at the same time. I'll, I'll figure it out. Gonna be about it for this clip. I guess I'll see you all when I've AFK my stats up some more. Hello again, everyone. It is a couple of days later. Last time I spoke to you was yesterday morning for the Valmore part two got released and it is now today evening late i'm not gonna be up much longer like an hour tops but i've been grinding and you can see these beautiful 70 combat stats now for it's 53 prayer as well i did a tiny bit of bone shards 72 hit points 70s all around on combats I'm hoping we can just get this done. If it's significantly easier, then I may do another one. But yeah, I just, I need to, for my own sanity, prove that I can do it more than once. But I'm not going to take it much further after that. That will be like it for this video because I don't need to. The new content's out. And I just, I don't want to go into it in this video because it's already long enough. So I want to like do the next video all on the new Valamore stuff. Because there's some exciting things that weren't announced. But I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play out. Praying it's better this time. 
Oh, we've only got Blood Moon left to kill on this run. That reminds me, there's another new thing. You can enable your run energy automatically come back on whenever it gets to a certain number, aka 1. So your run's always on. I don't know how much I'm going to like that, but it's worth trying at the very least. Mm, he's hitting me a lot. Why is he still hitting me so often? I'm meant to have more defense. Come on, yes, nice double spec in a row. Okay, okay, this is a much better phase. Oh, I'm having a terrible Jaguar phase. It was going well up until this phase started. One more spec. No, that heal was badly timed. Oh no, it's just healed all the way up. It was looking good. Now I'm not so sure. Definitely in need of some gear upgrades. I'm gonna need a really lucky phase to get this done. So, so far so good. I, I don't think I get it this phase even still, but... Come on. No! Oh no! So close. We're just gonna have to get insanely lucky on our defense rolls here. That was not insanely lucky on our defense rolls. I mean, we've got spec coming in just a sec, but yeah, another heal makes it very unlikely. Or definitely unlikely. I think I'll be getting out of there, actually. <sighs> Fuck, man. I can't believe getting all the way up to 70, we're still having issues. I'm just going to have to try again. I've done it once, I know it can be done. Honestly, it was really unkind to me at the very start of the fight. I lost a load of food off the bat. Like, there's obviously upgrades. I think, to be honest, the fedora may get tipped to one side very soon. A rune full would be super nice here. A rune kite shield would be super nice here. A dragon plate legs would be super nice here. All drops that are obtainable. And I have a cunning new plan of how I might be able to get them without having to go into the Revenant Caves. But before that, I need to get this KC. Honestly, I want some water orbs or some herbs. I'll take either. I'll take any. Just give me some stuff. Alright, I think this is our third attempt at this run. I'm not sure, though. Oh, I just DDS popes. That's a great way to start, in it? Very unhumble first phase. Please. I am struggling with this one, folks. I'm gonna put myself on accurate. I mean, it's not looking like it's gonna happen. No, that's it. Oh, fuck. How the fuck did I do this the first time? Honestly, how the fuck did I do it the first time? I'm caving on this, folks. I'm not going for a rune full helm drop or a, a rune kite shield drop, but I can buy myself an Addy full helm. What's the difference there? An extra 21 slash defense. It's similar to the amount that the shield gives us. Sorry, no, it's half of what the shield gives us. It's better than we had, though. Determined to get this done tonight, even if I have to take my fedora off to do it. Oh, look at that auto run. That's satisfying. It's just turning itself back on whenever it gets to one. I don't have to worry about putting it back on after I top up there, because it automatically does it. Okay, here goes with the Addy full. Man, I hate how much better it is with the helm. What the way my fedora. Once again, this is not looking amazing. Big spec. Okay. Follow it up. Keep swimming. Keep swimming. Keep swimming. Bit faster. Okay. 
Okay. Maybe. If I don't make mistakes here. Medial makes a mistake. Medial makes another one. We got DDS spec when the phase ends. Fuck me, completely out though. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing any more of these until we've got some some upgrades. Oh, let's see if we get any non-uniques. I can't believe I'm like the only guy who's hunting for non-uniques. <laughs> not that I'd be mad at another unique, you know. Two for two would be uh, reasonable. There we go. That is a nice chest indeed. 45 water orbs. I'm finally going to be able to make some staffs recuperate some of the investment that I've had there. The bones are really nice for extra prey training. They'll certainly stack up as well as the bone shards, the darts, which are a great thing to alk if you ever just need a random thing to alk because they're like 290 each. And the swamp tower will be great for herb lore when we do get some herbs to go with it. So that is exactly the sort of thing that I want from the secondaries there. Just not worth that amount of pain. I'm gonna need some upgrades or some higher levels but i've done so much training in this video i have no idea what the stats were when we started but i feel like they were a lot lower than they are now it's been a really productive video we got our first 2kc of perilous moons i was gonna say we got a pet but no that was on my main account i got the huey pet on day two 55kc he's cute as hell I'm looking forward to exploring, like, all the, the new Valamor stuff with y'all. It's going to be uh, a lot of fun, for sure. Definitely some exciting things that we could potentially score for ourselves from the new updates. That's going to be all on this one, though. Six hours later. What the fuck? This pet on Woody Wild. Obviously not set up to record. I was just doing some AFK fishing. We have the heron. If you enjoyed this episode of the Wild West, please do make sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton, just promotes me into the world so more people can find the content that you're enjoying and we can grow this channel even further. And subscribe too if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the future content. I have a huge back catalogue by now and I'm only adding to it more as we go so stick around to see all of that by hitting the subscribe button. Look after yourselves, be lovely to each other. I'll see you on the next one.